By the way, mm. Tenzin asked me to bring him the Glacier Passage Key. I must return to the Elder's place and see people village. Farming report is available. Uh, nothing's harvestable yet. 85. Oh my god. It is here. It's the whole song. Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Lay's run. Get as many gems as possible without getting caught by the fans. This probably won't take us too long, right? Oh, it's- <laughs> wait, is it actually on the- f Oh my gosh. Jump, and then double jump. Ah. Whoa, 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 wait. Oh, I can't get hit by the boxes either. Okay, so we- uh, Is it possible to get all the gems? Oh, that's kind of rough. Wait. Okay, let's just focus on avoiding obstacles. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no. This is... Wait, this is actually hard. Wait. A few moments later. We're, we're gonna stop at 100 gems. I promise. We just gotta get to 100 gems first. Yeah, I think I just like, maybe I yeah, we just focus on the obstacles. There, we did it. 100. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's double check our to-do list. So yeah, Tenzin's thing is gonna be the main thing. We got the VIP coming in a couple days. Waiting on the rice, finding the baby whale, spider crabs, nautilus. A lot of the things are gonna happen tomorrow, dang. This is shark harpoon gun though. I like the sound of that. More damage or more HP? Hmm. Things kind of die relatively quick. I'm gonna get more air actually. Oh. Mima! Does Mima need some help? Hi, Mima. Long time no see, Dave. I wanted to tell you that I am back in the restaurant business, <laughs> but I couldn't find your number. The famous local dish of the village, Mima's sea uh, seaweed dumplings. The dumpling skin is tight enough to maintain its form even in the water. You should try some. How am I supposed to eat it underwater? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you try one now? I will make you a special version. I'm always down for delicious food. Uh, ah, okay, that's where the money comes in. Seaweed dumpling. Increases the base damage of a harpoon gun by 10. Oh, these are like temporary. Oh, so it's kind of like a um, Cobra shop, but we get to eat food. That prowess. The food effect disappears once you leave the water. Yeah, okay, I figured. Wow, it's really delicious. I feel like I'm energized. Oh, it's not just a feeling. It actually energizes you. Each dumpling contains different stuffing, so take your pick. Oh, the effect of seaweed dumplings dissipates when you leave the water. So visit me whenever you need the effect. See you around, Dave. 
Mima's dumplings can be ordered twice a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Dumplings give you a special effect that will last until you need water. See what that effect is in the pause screen. Okay, and it is separate from our gold reserve, so I probably wouldn't mind ordering these every time you come down here. Blacksmith guy wants to see us? Hmm. Uh, yes? Um, I'm feeling a bit better after eating that coral porridge. By chance. I was wondering if you could gather minerals for me. Minerals? What kind? It looks like this. I need quite a bit, so are you okay with that? Um, this is opal? So that's what humans call it. It's a mineral that's often used by the sea people to make weapons. Hmm, okay. I think I've seen some in the deep sea. Uh, oh. Yeah, we can give you some opal. Well, well. You've gathered all the ingredients. I guess I have to thank you. Hugh. <laughs> it was nothing really. Are you feeling alright? Well, I should be able to prepare for work now. But, divine tree fruit is needed to smelt minerals. The heat has dissipated because I left it alone for too long. I need to go to the divine tree and get some fruit. I'm still not feeling well enough to do it alone. <coughs> I was hoping you could help me. You talk about that big tree at the back of the village, right? What do I need to do? You're going to help me? I'll guide you. Follow me. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Dua. Sure, Dua. Let's go and bring back the divine tree fruit. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even look at the text, I just said that. Oh, up close, it's magnificent. If it wasn't for the divine tree, a sea people wouldn't have been able to survive. It was thanks to King Long's sacrifice. We're forever grateful. <clears throat> Anyways, let's bring back the divine tree fruit. Pick the divine tree fruit and put it in this basket that I'm holding. My body isn't fully recovered yet, so I can't wait for too long. Bring me back five fruits in time. Hmm. Pick five divine tree fruits and put them in the basket, right? Are you gonna fall? Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna be like that. Oh, you're gonna move around. Okay, be that. Yep, yeah, just gotta, just gotta aim it. I missed. Oh. Okay, okay, last one, last one, last one. Make sure it's in. Ta-da! Great. This should be enough. It's time to go back to the workshop. <coughs> I guess I'm not yet well enough to travel. Anyways, thank you, human. Dave, right? I'll try opening up the workshop when I recover. Give me some time. Okay, Dua. Stop by sometimes, so please, let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait! I need to drop off these seahorses, cause they're just taking up inventory space. Let's go register... So I already have a dwarf, a crown, and jagger. So register spiny, pacific, long snouted hedgehog. We're gonna have our little seahorse collector. Whoa! Pacific is huge! Oh, but then you got. I think crown is still like 
MVP here. Monk's now is not doing too bad either. Yeah, is like the poorest one. I guess since we're here, how about we do a race? We'll do the normal course. We got this, we got this. Yeah! That was a bit close. Nice. Combined and then normal a hole. That's gonna be tougher, I bet. Alright. I think we're good. Dropped off my seahorses, time to go visit Tenzin now. Uh, you know what? Since we're making a lot of bay, let's try out the beluga whistle. Or just the beluga in general. Hello! How much fat? Ooh! Oh! We can go anywhere we want. Oh, we gotta do like some weird uh, U-turns. Okay, I guess we'll dismount. Oh, you have returned to you. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people's storage. The glacier passage key is in that place. Suwam will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. Suwam, the best warrior of the sea people, will guide you to the place. Follow me. Ah, okay, it was this great. Here, human. Go, bring me the glacier passage key. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked anyway? Hmm, I am not sure. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere though. I heard the insane ones attack the other pe uh, sea people. But that was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Hmm, I'm a bit nervous. You coming with me? I am the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? <laughs> I will uh, stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you're ready, human. Let me catch this first. Are you ready to enter, human? Yeah, let's go. Oh, it's cold. The key should be much deeper inside. A room with a mural, if I remember correctly? Huh. Hey, a fish. What a cute sea bring. It must have come through that small crack. Oh. Uh. I, I don't like that. Holy cow, what is that? The ancient sea people Suwam talked about? They're still alive? It's fortunate that they're still locked in the cells. Should not draw their attention. Oh. oh yeah, I don't like that one bit. Oh 
Okay, we just gotta keep going deeper. That looks like a mural. Mm -hmm. This must be the room Sawan talked about, where the mural is. Mm -hmm. But, where's the key? Okay. This picture seems to imply something. That must be the Glacier Passage Key. What a creepy place. I better pick up the key and quickly leave. At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great though. Shall I return to the Sea People Village now? Uh oh. They're gonna be free from the cage now, aren't they? Yep. That's not good. Uh oh. Yeah, let's get out of here quick. Mm. Oh no, another earthquake. Mm. I heard something crumble. Uh oh. Dave, stop looking around, just keep going. Why is there a cage there now? Mm. No, the exit is blocked. Mm. And all the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, Gadon is the name of the ancient sea people who were mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. Great. I'm guessing they have like a cone detection, so if I'm above or below them, we should be fine. Okay. Have to go this way. Seems like they're only moving left and right. This guy's gonna be trouble though. Hmm, I don't think I can pass here. What if I hide behind the stone statue over there? I will go unnoticed. That seemed like a strange piece of text. I hide behind a stone statue to avoid being seen by Gadon. Use the stone statue when you're in danger. right mouse button. Let's go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. Oh, is this just for a bowl? I don't need that. Do I? Oh, maybe he goes a lot farther. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
no. <laughs> How far do you go? Okay, maybe we were maybe we were fine there. until the earthquake happened. It's like kicking a jukebox to get it working again. Okay, I think we're home free. Uh oh. Dave, swim! Swim! Run! Suam Bah, I knew Suam was not gonna be was not gonna wait for me. Anyway, I got the key. Now I must return to Uh Hello. Oh It's you. Why are you down here? Wait, you're robbing graves now? As if destroying the environment was not enough. Huh? That is the sea people's... Be quiet! Whoever harms the great sea will have to contend with Sea Blue and the wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly Sea Blue Armor RX-93 and its power. Bro! Okay, at least... At least they're not gonna come out of there anymore. You are an environmental disaster! You're gonna pay now! Oh my god, this guy. No amount of words can save that thick-skulled moron. That suit does look very tough though, no bullets will penetrate it. I'll just leave the bombs back to you. No, oh, the missiles are slowing down. If only I could direct it at him. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? I mean, it was like right next to him. What do we got? Baseball bat. Ow. Nice. Back. Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. I just have to keep dodging you. Come on. Yeah! He seems really good. Oh, what are. Can I get those back? Well, I don't want to find out now. Ah, that- okay, those did work. Okay, cool. Urgh. My eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is... I can't forgive you destroying nature- I'm watching you! 
Tenacious. He was wearing high tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. Maybe Cobra can fix it and then we could just wear it. <laughs> Alright. I see a bunch of complex mechanical parts. I should pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the glacier passage key to Tenjin. Oh, you actually brought me the Glacier Passage Key. Suwam so told me that he cleared the area, and the key is free to be picked up. But I guess it took you some time. Um, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen Gadons? Are they still alive? Gadons? Hmm, this is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Which one do you like to hear? Uh, sure, how about you tell me the long one? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm going to tell you the story of the Gadons, okay? Mm -hmm. About 800 years ago, the Gadons were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors had many devices, far more technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. Mm -hmm. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the Divine Tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However, There, were, there are always those who are blinded by greed. Dash, one of the senior technicians, wanted to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. He processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of your ancestors? Yes. It all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dash was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called Yahweh. Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? At that time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Then one day... The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their body turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent that they began to attack other sea people. So they are the monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and died later. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gadons were still alive. That means, maybe, some of them may still be roaming Glacier Passage. And you're expecting me to go there? I beg you, the sea people have been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. Right now, you are the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. <sighs> okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this. It is my gift for you. Here, take this sea people's necklace. 
where this and the tube worms in the deep sea will retreat. You know, those strange worms that look like sticks. That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suwam to guide you to the entrance of the glacier passage. Uh, well, thank you, I guess. I won't need to carry around the UV light anymore. That sounds like it's gonna be kind of important. I guess I'll use the rest of the day to go, uh, fishing. Wait, shrimps? <gasps> shrimps! Pacific seahorse. More seaweed. Do I want to get that shark? The shark head thing might. Oh, hey, wait. Wait, I need these. Remove 10 of these egg jellyfish. Oh, they're pretty heavy, though. It's fine. If we could get more jellyfish dishes for tomorrow, that would be excellent. Is that a fish I can catch? Oh my god, it is. Obicular bite fish or something. Oh no, I missed. No, my net. <laughs> I need more ammo. Oh, more jellyfish. Not the right ones, though. Where are these barrel... barrel jellyfish? Probably doesn't help, uh, hurt to get more of these. What is... Whoa, sting... Whoa, 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 whoa. Have I caught in Stingray before? Oh, it's new. Yeah, that kind of shows I still have a lot of stuff on the surface here to catch and stuff. More shrimp I can't catch anymore. Okay, I guess we're done here. Let's get... Oh, wait. Oh, a loggerhead tur... What? A turtle? Picture of a turtle is a must-have sea picture. Okay. Alright, time to take a pic. Ooh. Where's the turtle? Eating the jellyfish, okay. Oh. Oh, we'll miss. Nice! Uh, sure, yeah. I'll take that. Nibbling. Okay. Oh yeah, there's also the thing about the baby whale. I am pretty over encumbered though. Maybe we'll be back 